Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As you've already seen from the title, I'm going to be testing this little thing on mine and Lucy's car. We're going to see what they can do. You can do all sorts of fancy things with it on the newer cars. We're going to see what it can do specifically for my car as it's 2002 and then for a car that's 10 years newer, the Mark 6 GTI. We're going to see what it can do. But let me just explain quickly what this thing is. So this is basically a code reader which is wireless and Bluetooth and it's very fancy. Let me open the box. All right. So, oh no, wait, it goes that way. That's the way. It's like an upside down car, but it also sort of looks like a face. Maybe it's a face, I don't know. There it is. I don't know which way up it's supposed to go. I believe it's that way. This is it. Plugs into your OBD port, and then it links to your phone. I think you need to make an account. So these are all the cars that it's capable of with. This is just Volkswagen. Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda Group. Let's just go out to the cars and actually connect this up. making it presentable in there. We gotta find the actual port. Where is it? So it's in the cubby hole. Nothing. It's just a storage little thing. On the in the corner. Oh yeah that's it. Oh yeah. That. So we're back in the app and I'm guessing we just gotta press connect. Once to turn on Bluetooth. Do not unplug the device from car one updating. Device updated. So this is saying what car it is, so it's obviously a Golf from 2008 onwards, Golf 3 door hatchback, 5 door hatchback. I don't really know if that matters too much or not, but we're doing it anyway. Let's scan it and see what happens. So as I say, one faulty control unit, central electrics, faults. Apparently there's a fault for the activation tank flap. Let's, oh, and there's a Google button. It. Okay, well that's a future problem. So that's the only fault that we got on the Mark 6 and now should I clear the fault code for you? I'll clear it anyway No faulty control units, and that's how you just clear codes to that So if you're buying this device just for a code reader, that is how you do it. That's really simple So I've just been looking around the app and what it can actually do We saw the, the fault codes and the data it, it can read but this is where You can start changing things in the car. There's a lot of things here, but I don't I'm not sure how many of these are actually usable in this car. Like, what's this? Headlight washer, you already have a headlight washer. All oh, right, so that you deactivate it. I don't want to, now I've frozen it, sick. Needle sweep was one that we were looking at, and that, that obviously works. That would work with this car, but we have 12 credits, but each thing costs 10 credits, so we can only use one, unless we want to buy more, obviously. There's a lot of things here, isn't there? Brake pad indicator, washer fluid indicator. Maybe you could add mirror dip to your Jets car. I was just thinking that. Our friend has a 2017 Polo. On this car, you can do the mirror dip, put it in reverse, and then on there, you change it to the left or the right, and it would dip the mirror down the back wheel. So I'm guessing for any newer car that's not activated on, you could just activate it. But there's a lot of things here which you can mess around with. You also have gauges. These are all the gauges which you can find. Put your foot slightly on the accelerator. Yeah, oh, that's clever. That changes. Do it a bit more. That's pretty cool. How accurate is it? Let go? That's like instant. Wow, that's clever. I'm seeing if there's a boost one. Oh, battery voltage. Yeah, it's running fine, basically. Okay, you can probably already hear already that the microphone on my camera is being a bit glitchy, so I'm having to re-record this part. We're just looking at the different things it can do. There's like vehicle speed, engine RPM, uh, battery voltage. There's quite a few sensors which it can read as well, but most of the stuff too advanced for me and I have no idea what I'm looking at. For example, like this math airflow sensor, I don't know what it should be doing, what it should be saying. It's very useful for me and for my car. If We'll have a look at my car because obviously the problems that it's been having, I can read it. Now this bit, if you have OBD Pro, I believe you can read live data. If your car's running, you can then see the live data of everything. But that's for another video. So now in my car, I need the key. That would help, wouldn't it? I just want to know how many faults she has had. Actually, I don't think you'll have that many. Is that him? I don't know. You might want to check. I don't know if I did that right. Yeah, it's probably in. Okay. Turn the key to that position. Okay, we're connected, now scan. One problem, there we go. So we come into all the control units. Dashboard, key, signal too low. Maybe the battery in your key is going? Maybe, yeah, it is, it is my old key, so it's possible. I'm happy with that though, only one code. And that's the code cleared. So now we go into car, app. And that's all I can do. <laughs> 
That's what sad. Can you do though? Auto lock slash unlock. Visual confirmation. Activate or deactivate turn signals. This is the indicators. You know when you lock your car, the indicators turn on. Obviously because this car is 2002, there's not much you can do. Let's try the gauges, see what gauges it has. This would be interesting for me actually, to show if it's broken or not. Your car needs to be on <coughs> Yeah, air intake temperature, timing, vehicle speed, engine coolant temperature. So a lot of this stuff would have been useful. It would be good for checking the codes, clearing codes, and for checking these sensors. I'm tempted to do this. When you unlock the car, it would go beep. Find out how much credits are. We've got credits to spend, so now I've got to figure out how to Oh god, now Bradley's gonna buy everything. <laughs> How to spend them? I reckon you Wallet. should save 10 credits for Georgette's car. Plus? And see if we can do the mirror thing. Use code. Any credits? I'm glad I spotted that. Boom! Yeah. Right, yeah, let's find out how much credits are. So, so 10. for 10 credits, that would be 149. That's not too Which bad. Which actually isn't bad. So if you just literally wanted to, if you wanted to spend about 40 pounds on this device just to get needle sweep, and then 100 is that. And you get daily bonuses and then get it. I guess you get 11, so that's 12. So yeah, I, I guess every day if you log on, so you'll you... get a free cre a free credit. Yeah, maybe. Do. do you want to do your horn thing now that you've got 200 credits? Might as well. Do yeah, go on. Do a mod on each car. Let's do it. What was it? Apps and then horn confirmation. Yeah. yeah. Let's do this. If I don't like it, I can always just turn it back off. You want it off? So, I can unlock or just not. Let's do both. Working. If it just starts beeping at us. This should unlock it then, right? We'll have to get out of the car, lock it, yeah. see if it does it. Okay, success. So now I want to exit. And let's take this thing out. Let's see if it oh no. Alright, let's try it. Did you just drop it? I don't want to be in the it's film. Fuck now, mate. Right, ready? Oh that was sick. That was quite cool. Oh, I was expecting an actual like me, but that's loads better. I like that. It's gonna be unlocking it. That's sick. It's gonna be that hanging out his window again. Listen, guys. <laughs> Wait, go to the comfort turn signal because you have this and it's on three, isn't it? So I, maybe you could change it if you wanted to change it. Yeah, but three's a nice. Yeah, thing. you want to keep that. Yeah. And then hold down the tick, turn the car off, and then do it back on. All the way on. Yeah. Maybe you did it too quick. Uh, turn it back off and take the key out. Don't turn it on, but put it key all the way forward. There you go. That's cool. That's cool. Do you like that? Well, turn it once. Want... There we go. Very clever. So we've had a little play around. We've sort of figured out what this thing could do. For the price, it's a very good deal. So for example, from Euro Car Parts, you can buy just an average scanning and deleting tool. £25 I think I saw it for. If you pay an extra £10 you can just get this. For a car like mine for example, it's 2002 so there isn't as many options as there, are, as there is for a 2012 car which again doesn't have as many options as it was for a 2018 car. There's newer things, different features, things like that. I love those little chips, chirps, beeps, I think that's well cool. So I'm happy that I unlocked it with that. I unlocked the needle sweep and I now have a cool device which can give me live data on all of the sensors, the math sensor, throttle, lambda sensor, basically everything that you saw on there. So we also got the pro version. I'm going to be honest, I don't quite know what the difference is. I think it may unlock some different features for different cars. So I should say this isn't a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to show you guys this. This is my true thoughts and review. Uh, the guys at OBD11 have just sent me this to try it to make a video on it and to share with you guys what it can do. But there is a link in the description if you do want to go ahead and buy one of these. It's my link basically to show them that you found it and you bought it through me. If you are going to buy one, that would mean a huge deal if you could follow the link in the description. If I didn't make that clear enough, it was on their website. $34.92 before it changes. Has it already changed? Yeah, it's yeah it already changed. Loads of information on the actual website if you wanted to find out more. The website will be in the description as well. And yeah, I think I have covered quite a bit. So that's what it can do for our two cars. If I had a 2017 Golf Polo, I would showcase that. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this or if you have it and what you think of it and if there's anything I've missed because I feel like there's actually quite a few bits that I've missed but I don't know if I have. There's loads of things on the app so download the app and have a look around and it will tell you. But yeah, 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, it means a lot. And subscribe if you don't know who I am. My name's Brad and I make these cool YouTube videos. They're sick, mate. Subscribe. Thanks for you guys. I'll see you in the next video.